Welcome back to Supremely Black Podcast. This is your host, D. Rose. I hope everybody has had an amazing Friday. So we're going to jump right back into the Ralph Yard situation. If you aren't aware, you've probably been living up under rock. 16-year-old went to the wrong house looking to get his twin brothers, was shot three times. The guy that was arrested has been released. He uh, Ralph is good. Uh, he they said that he spoke with the president, which I left off of my last episode for over an hour. Okay, so the governor, Mike Parsons, said that he feels that Joe Biden and other elected officials are using this case to make it a political battle. So I thought to myself, okay, cool. Let me just look into this and see what's going on. Of course, uh, Mike Parson being a Republican where you would think that his stance would be. Like he said, there is a lot of killing. There is a lot of crime that goes on in the city. There's kids that are killed, like he said, in St. Louis, uh, Kansas City, on a daily basis. Not harmed, as in Ralph Yard was. There's kids that's killed, and he said he does not see the police or other elected officials come out to speak. I think that is a very key point, because I hate when there is something big that happens you think about a uh, black lives matter uh when there is police or if it's race that's connected to it it catches their attention and they use it for political views especially when it's getting close to election time um i hate when they do that and i think that parson is right now do i agree with him not just making it about the yard family and making sure that you know they prevent issues from like that but i do respect his honesty and transparency of saying don't take this remote issue because you see that there is a race indicator and then which heightens everyone's awareness of the situation to make it a political battle to talk about gun control because gun control to me is something that they need to address individually it shouldn't happen because of We've seen enough violence. We've seen enough mishaps. We've seen the wrong people having guns in their hands. It's now time to take action in regards to what does that look like? Because you know people aren't going to be willing to give up their guns, but should they be harder to obtain? That's how I would look at that. So I'll be giving you all some more feedback on that. As always, long live CCMA.